speeding rods. I'm sure many of you are excited to see me just standing in front of the Studebaker at the beginning of a video, because you know what that means, we're working on the Studebaker. So in previous videos I talked about how I wanted to leave this alone for a while, uh, not make any changes, you know, just kind of enjoy the thing, and I was going to do that. I promise. Dad, Dad I, I promise I was, but, well, an opportunity came up and it was too good to pass up, so we're going to make a change. <laughs> I got to say a big thanks to the, everybody out there for following the channel. Um, we're getting large enough that uh, I received an email from the guys at Max Feeding Rods. They said they wanted to send me a product for my review. And now we've used Max Feeding Rods products in the past. The strut tops on the Talon, those were Max Feeding Rods strut tops. And I've also bought injectors from them before and uh, always had good luck with their products. Something that Max Feeding Rods brought up to me right off the bat is that they make turbochargers. Honestly, I didn't know that they made turbochargers. So naturally I went onto their website. I sorted by the largest. <laughs> as you should, and lo and behold, what came to the top was what we had just got in the mail today. So let's do a little unboxing. So this is the package that I received in the mail today. Um, we're gonna unbox it real quick. So it looks like good packaging. Um, they got foam on the top, just like many other turbos I have received. Um, always good to get gaskets. And here's the centerpiece. Wax paper is a nice touch. And here's what we got. So what I ordered was something that I had talked about in previous videos, and that is an S366 clone. So this is one of the largest turbos that Max Speeding Rods offers. They also offer a S475, but um, I decided to go with this guy because I thought that was a natural upgrade from the GT3582 that we have on the car currently. So. This is the turbo that we went nines with. It is a um, billet GT3582 um, with a T4 divided housing. And I chose this turbo because it's T4 divided. I thought that would aid in spool. And uh, so far it's performed pretty well. So what I've found on these engines is they typically like a smaller turbo, at least in my opinion. They uh, seem to spool a lot quicker when you stick a appropriately sized turbo onto it. Um, so that's why I chose this turbo. Turbos are a lot like torque converters in that there's trade-offs. You know, with a torque converter, sure, you can stall it high, but then you get slip when you get into power. Same thing with a turbo. You can make it spool fast, but when you want it to make uh, gobs of power with very little back pressure, you're gonna run into issues when you run a small turbo like this. This turbo was running out around 500 wheel horsepower, and I wanted to make more than 500 wheel horsepower, but we were unable to accomplish that on the dyno. We still got my goal, which was a nine second quarter mile, but in the interest of science, we're going to yet again change to another turbo. So those that are unfamiliar with the S366, it's a 66 compressor with a 73 turbine, and they are pretty legendary in the aftermarket because they're very well performing turbos. You'll notice that is a T4 divided, and it is a, uh, I believe a 1.1 AR. So, we're going to give this a shot. I'm going to evaluate it on how much boost does it make on the two-step. And also, I'm gonna evaluate the noise. One thing that I really love about the turbo that's on the car currently is it makes really cool noises. 
Um, it's like the best sounding turbo I have ever heard. And I know that plays into it for a lot of people. It de certainly does for me. So, also, another cool thing about the S366 is that it's physically larger. I'm personally a big fan of popping the hood and seeing a big monster turbo underneath the hood. It definitely looks more intimidating. And I just, you know, it makes me giggle because I'm a stupid kid. So that being said, once again, thanks to Max Feeding Rods for the turbo. Let's get this thing installed and see how it performs. The first minor hurdle that we need to overcome is my old turbo features a three and a half inch V-band and the new turbo, the S366, features a three and a half inch Marmon flange. So personally, I don't have a problem with Marmon flanges, but I don't like having to weld new flanges on my exhaust over and over and over again. And so what we're going to do is we are going to machine this Marmon flange. We're basically going to machine this outer taper off of here and basically make it look like the old turbo so that I don't have to change flanges. The other minor thing is my feed fitting uses a two bolt entry and the S366 only has provision for a pipe thread. Luckily, I have fittings, so that's an easy one to solve. So let's get this turbine housing off and we'll get this thing machined and get it installed. <laughs> successfully made the outlet of this turbine look like my old turbo and while I was in there I machined this taper here to help the gases get to where they need to go so next step is to get it onto the car so let's do it <laughs>
turbo install is complete. So one last little minor hurdle I had to overcome was I had to add a half inch section to my exhaust in order to get it to line up with the S366. But everything bolted up great. My modification to the outlet flange went perfectly. So now we're going to put this thing to the test and see how it measures up to the smaller turbo. street drive and overall it's performing very well so earlier we talked about these two points of comparison that I wanted to do comparing this new turbo to the old turbo first one was how much boost does it make on the two-step as you saw in the clip it made about eight and a half pounds of boost and the old turbo made about eight and a half pounds of boost so We've lost almost nothing there, which is really encouraging because this turbo should be capable of 200 to 300 more horsepower than the old turbo. Granted, it takes a little bit longer on the two-step to get to 8.5 pounds of boost, but it still gets there. So we get the same performance there. Also, I wanted to compare turbo noises. This turbo sounds different, but also really good too. Um, I, I honestly don't know which one I like more. The old turbo had more of a higher pitch sound. This one sounds more like a jet engine spooling up, which I like. It's different, but I enjoy it just as much. Lastly, I thought of another comparison, and that is the manifold air temps. So, in colder weather, at the same boost, the old turbo made 10 degrees more than the new turbo. So this is performing very well. So that is going to make some power. Once again, I want to say thank you to Max Speeding Rods for the turbo. Overall, I'm very happy with it. And if you want one of these turbos, you can find the links down in the description. And they also gave me a coupon code for you guys to use. 
If you use coupon code CALVIN at checkout, you get a 15% discount. So make sure you go and support the companies who support us. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.